Wow, guys. Today is a big one. This is, uh, uh, God, Dana and I were really uh, pumped about Danny Aykroyd. He's one of the biggies that we just have talked about since the beginning. And even before I ever wanted to be on SNL, which was, I didn't really want to be on SNL almost until I got on SNL because I didn't think it was even a possibility. I dream low. My mom always told me, dream within reason. Dream about getting a new spare tire for your Volvo. So I was never thinking, I was like a character guy for SNL, and the king of the character guys is Aykroyd. I mean, Phil Hartman is up there, but I have to say, it's very hard to compete with that first crew, um, Hall of Fame crew of SNL guys and Aykroyd. Loved, and with Belushi, and there was too many things to go over, them, from the Blues Brothers to Coneheads we talked about. All that stuff, of course. We didn't even get to Julia Child, Bassomatic, and Heather's favorite, Jane, you ignorant slut. Uh, I wanted him to say that on my phone machine. Who has a phone machine? Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, he, he was lovely. He came into my pad. I showed him Farley's jacket from Tommy Boy that is on the wall. Uh, we did Tommy Boy together. Um, we did Coneheads together. He was a stud. I interviewed him once for Spin Magazine when I was on SNL. He was very generous and let me do that. And he is a character. And he was doing some impressions and goofing around. And there isn't enough time to talk to Tan Aykroyd. There's just too much. And uh, what a stud. And he's got his vodka. Uh, and, and we talked about that. And it, it's all. And we had a few knocks. I did definitely with him. Put a little Diet Coke in it to ruin it. And. Uh, it was just a blast. So uh, without further ado, let's get, here's Danny Aykroyd. And we had such a fun time with this dude. I saw Chris two days ago and he said to stay at the Chateau. Yeah. Love Chris. He must love you. He came over and gave me a hug. And ah, I, yeah. said, I, I said I was seeing you guys and he was, yeah. <laughs> uh, he should have been more excited about you seeing us but that's okay it's great when you meet someone who uh hasn't become a superstar yet chris yeah and if you treat them normal they never forget it if you're just reasonably respectful yeah. he's pretty much of a superstar though. oh yeah and just boy from what i gather hasn't changed a bit <laughs> this yeah. looks like a congressional inquiry <laughs> Uh, you are, let me answer is, some questions. We're yeah. sitting on a table like a Stephen yeah. Oppenheimer. The podcast yeah. is actually called The Hot Seat. It's uh, a surprise. Okay, and you are, and we over. welcome Dan Aykroyd I better, to I better The over. Hot Seat. Yeah. Heather, over. help him with that. Is you know how to do that? Uh, I'll head. do the side thing. And uh, will you bring a bottle? Crystal, so, um, Crystal Head Vodka, is that the one? Do you have, do you have plain? <laughs> do, you have, do, you have any, do you have any fresh squeezed orange juice in the, in the, in the house? Heather, did you, uh, did you I assume it? so. Do you, know, do you have any? Did you like, ever win an award? Do you have any juice at all? Any cranberry or any? Uh, you know, what we might have is a. Uh, it's not hibiscus? juice. We might have lemon. Uh, Seven up seltzer. Is that nothing? Mm, mm, no, it's you not don't really have a juice like a, a hibiscus or cranberry or a, hibiscus. Yeah, that's all right. Put put some ice in there. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'm just uh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. No. Oh, but no. it's just if you to sample it, it it, it pops it better if it's uh, if it's uh, cold. Mick? Oh, if it's cold, I'll put some yeah. ice in there. Yeah, oh, put yeah, some yeah. Ice in there. I'll try. I'm some. gonna have yeah. Or if you guys so want and to and try. please let me know. Uh, so I don't uh, let me know when we're rolling, so that I'll do all the politically incorrect stuff now. Uh, we're, we're always we rolling, don't have to use it, but we're rolling. But you always have editing capability. Yeah, you can always uh, we will okay. send you okay, the raw so tape. We're, uh, the conversation <laughs> begins then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, what you're doing there is you're you're pouring the uh, Dan Aykroyd, the, uh, the oh, mash. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Let's start. Have you start. won awards for this vodka? You want to start? You, do you a firm? Do you do a formal introduction, or do we just? No, well, we do have Dan Aykroyd. Who I start I everyone as Joe Biden. I Get your facts it. straight, yeah. Jack. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. And then there was the other president you did so well and so beautifully. Yeah, I didn't do it. Yeah. You know, that was the way that eventually, yeah, uh, and uh, it, came, it was a slur. You know, it's a, wa there's <laughs> not, a Washington. Not, 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 it became not going to do it, became not going to do it. And in Washington yeah. now, there's a slur that is commonly used, mm. commonly for a word that, that, is, that is frequently employed uh, in, the, in the trade. Sir, sir, 
sir, it's senator, yeah. senator becomes yeah. sir, sir, uh, sir. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's Sewell. <laughs> Sewell, remember Sewell? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Catan. How genius was that guy? Sewell, do you remember uh-huh. Sewell? No, Chris, Chris Catan. Chris Catan, yeah. He did, the, he did Sewell because, yeah, we, I'm talking now, I'm going to tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. You know, Sewell, the, the it's slur. It's just, yeah. Oh. Just people slur all the, yeah. the time. Yeah. That's what people slurs. Slurs. Well, a little bit now, I think he, a little, a little bit. bit, yeah. Can I do a six degrees of separate? Well, I don't Please. think that's the term. I'm in college. You're doing Jimmy Carter on yeah. Saturday Night Live. I'm recording it with a cassette and trying to steal, you know, playing at the little teeny club, steal your Jimmy Carter and was in awe of it. And then- To, to use where? What were you going, where in you clubs. Going? I was oh, just trying oh, oh, yeah, to do oh, yeah. what you guys did. You oh, guys yeah, were yeah. like, uh, to me, like uh, badass uh, rebel pirates. Yeah. I think of Bill Murray um, and you, we, Jim. That's so accurate, uh, 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 an analysis of us. It, re- uh, well, it really is. Well, I think, well, we, we were, were little. Look at us. We're like little, we're tiny people. But you guys were kind of <laughs> strapping all over six feet. You would punch a guy or I, make him laugh. Yeah, but- <laughs> um, and so you do. Uh, you you'd copy uh, the Jimmy Carter. Well, Jimmy Carter, well, you know, he had that. He had that the, the yeah. eye contact and a very soft way of approaching things. And yeah, he ended up being you know one of the great post presidents and uh, really uh, a giant figure. You know what's you know, interesting honestly. about him? Because mm-hmm. I became fascinated by him because he's constantly referred to. So I read this book about him. Could not understand the idea of deficit spending. He was like, I don't understand how we take in this much money yeah. and we're going to give out that much money. Mm-hmm. It makes no sense to me. But uh, <laughs> my Jimmy Carter I do now, I still do all the presidents, is that he had a nervous breakdown, put yeah. peanut butter on his head, wander around the White House. Mm-hmm. Sir, are you okay? You got yeah. peanut butter on your head. No, I don't. I'm a peanut butter man. Yeah. I got peanut butter hair, peanut butter soup, peanut butter tie, uh-huh. peanut butter shoes. That's I'm good. a peanut butter, peanut butter. I'm doing you. But no, here's no, the no, thing that, that, that got me crazy, <laughs> Is when well, you you yeah. were visiting SNL and then you praised my George Bush Senior impression. So it was like ten years later. So that mm-hmm. just no, you yeah. know these things are. Carter was emotional. unbelievable. You know he he was a nuclear uh, physicist and an engineer yes. in the Navy, yeah. and he helped set up Canada's reactor program. There was a, yeah. a there was a, a captain a, a, of a he, nuclear he, submarine. He, he troubleshooted. Uh, Went up to Ottawa, my hometown there, and troubleshooted a reactor problem they had at one point. Jesus. In what yeah. year? Before president uh, or after? This, oh, yeah. No, when he was, you know. Well, in, like just uh, some yeah, president walks in. Let me take a look at that. Six, you know, 60s. I'll get back to the economy. I'm going to yeah. do this reactor for yeah. the Ottawans. <laughs> yeah, but, well, the deficit spending, you know. Actually, you know <laughs> I, look, we live in a country uh, that is a fiat, a, a, a fiat uh, currency. Well, right. Canada as well. we'll say, you know, we, fiat currency, is, all you do is you just print more money if you need it. And so, you know, spending, you got to spend the money. People need it. Uh, you got to spend it. We're doing uh, that. And we're doing it. Yeah. We're, we've got a, th- we've got almost got Don't a let third. let it sit on the shelf. No, th- <laughs> it shouldn't. A third world uh, debt, uh, debt load right now. Right. But because we can print more. Why not spread it's it? It's a never ending thing. Spread Modern monetary theory. Now yeah. we're getting close to a trillion in interest pour, pour on me. that. Oh, you I know. It's, it's really bad. That's pour me a little. Yeah. Crystal uh, head vodka. A little bit of that. I poured yeah. some for myself. Now Would you'll you notice mind, our note I'm, sweet. Thank you. Sweet, vanilla, dry, and crisp. Uh, made in Canada. No Can additives, I ask you no a question sugar. about this? Because yeah, this we don't is, have to talk about the vodka. We can talk no, about No, no, no. I want to talk. We'll hop around. This is going to integrate into. You, as a Anyone? performer, mm. you were one of the mm. first That's celebrities that, that made a... <laughs> I oh, do so like, sweet. Well, like Dan, first time he tasted Dan's it. Dan's drinking his own vodka. There's a, there's a mmm constant in the back. Mm. Mm. Now, Wait, I'll man, do now, it. David has this other vodka. I won't mention the name sometimes. I'm always looking for a vodka, yeah. so Crystal yeah. Head. I, and I knew about this. Okay, we have here. Now I have David it. Spade is going to take the little Am ship. I smelling the notes uh, yeah. first? <laughs> uh, uh, didn't you love Johnny? Uh, I, uh, so you know, he's going to have, last a, night he had two slippery monkeys at the hook and crook. Yeah. <laughs> what a great Carson, y'all. Oh, did, I yeah. love Johnny. <clears throat> ah, and, yeah. <clears throat> when he died, when the joke would die, that was the funniest, the way his reactions were. You know, Oof. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, the deconstructing That's of good, the show. That's good, Danny. Dry, crisp. You did it right. The finish, it's it's clean. It's you'll, 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 the sweetness from our corn there. Yeah, yeah and I'm a, a vodka guy. Of, so. of, yeah, well, no, the thing I, I, I wanted, David, to... most of the other uh, vodkas, I don't name names, but no. they put uh, uh, mm-hmm. lemonine sugar and they put uh, uh, citrus oil. They put glycol. Fuck and sugar. that. You don't need that. No, don't need that. 
You know, if you're a bartender, you're making things where you add all kinds of additives in there. St. Germain, Frank, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of <laughs> Burnett Frank, all that stuff. Dictionary. <laughs> you know. Dan, are you? Uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, yeah, so, so you don't need, if you're a bar chef, you don't need. Well, uh, are you, I don't know the story. It. How did this originate? I'm sorry. I just want to know how I you, just wanted a cleaner vodka, really. And what I, year was this? Because uh, this has been around. We, we've been in a decade and a half yeah. into this. Okay. Yeah. Now, there have been many vodkas come and gone. Come so, and gone. Right. Many come and gone. And it's all the celebrities game. are doing tequila now. Well, many there. You know yeah. what? There's two hundred sick celebrity spirits brands. Too many. Two hundred celebrities. I didn't even know there was two hundred celebrities. I got to get going on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and but, but weren't you an early adopter? It seems like. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Sammy Hager did his tequila, and yeah. then I just, I just, I just began to research vodka and I saw that uh, you know uh, that they were. Uh, kind of polluting it a bit. And yeah. so Johnny Alexander and I no came names. up with the idea for the skull. Remember him? You know, Johnny? Mm -mm. Johnny Alexander, the artist. Yeah. No, well, I the don't. skull is revolutionary. We I met, mean, we met uh, when he, uh, when his girlfriend, uh, or, or my girlfriend dumped me for him. <laughs> Rosie Schuster. Oh, Rosie oh, Schuster, writer? who developed Churchill with me. Yeah. Well, I were, wrote with yeah. her a oh, no, lot. A spectacular yeah. human being. Yeah. And, she uh, was and awesome. a beautiful, beautiful woman from t from. I didn't know she, she was, was Lauren's ex-wife for like a Lauren's year. Lauren's ex-wife, yeah. Well, I knew. You and I, after I, that? I knew, and it didn't stop me. But oh boy, uh, <laughs> he was very magnanimous. But anyway, uh, Johnny, uh, I got it <laughs> he, back because uh, not that I took her away from him. That was kind of over with Lauren and, and Rosie at the time. But I uh, was with uh, Rosie, and uh, she fell in love with Johnny and dumped. Don't me. Gave you the Heisman. And now we're friends. Yeah, now we're friends, Johnny and I. And as Rosie said to. All three of us one night at Davis's memorial, she looked at Lauren, she looked at me, and she looked at Johnny. We were all sitting there like crows on a wire <laughs> at Davis's. She said, well, at least you have each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love Rosie. Oh, God, yeah. So today we'd we have the vodka company, Johnny and I. We're having a ball it's with great. it. It's really fun. Uh, you know, if you can drink moderately and, re and respectfully, uh, it's, it's a good thing. Now, Danny, are you saying some of these, like, there's a lot of celebrities. I drink um, Urkel's tequila, which is probably the best one. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Urkel's? I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounded real. No, I don't know. Yeah. He probably does. It sounded real. It's probably in the works. I've got Felix the Cat. Uh, no, what you would know, that be? It's a lager <laughs> beer. I, <laughs> yeah. Felix the Felix Cat. Felix the Cat. You remember Felix the Cat? Yes. Oh, of course. The, does he the remember? The bag? Do you remember uh, El, El, Elwood Blues is, is partly oh, based on- Oh, he's partly Fe Felix the Cat. He's oh. partly based on Felix the Cat, the, the briefcase that has everything in it. Oh, my goodness. I love Felix. That's, That's got to be brought back. That That is a beautiful, beautiful character. That was one of my first oh, animated yeah. memories. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. 58, 59. No, Felix is, Felix yeah. is great. Felix the Cat. He's one of the Blues Brothers, Felix. Yeah. I mean, Felix, my God. He's, really, he's black and white. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's on a it. mission yeah. from God. Yeah. Now listen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now when you do when you do this, we, you're saying the other vodkas, they have some of those things you're saying that are in it. I didn't know all the words, but they might make for a hangover. Uh, the glycol certainly would. Okay. Yeah. So when you have too many things in it, it's yeah. not great. Yeah. For that no. Reason. No. Of course. Now you 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 get to eight shots of this, even without the <laughs> pollutants in there, you're gonna. It is ethyl alcohol, so you know you got to be. Kind of uh, one of our new sponsors, I guess, is trying to mitigate that problem. Oh, we have one of ours that says it helps you take overs. this, but you know what? I, oh, this, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't have hangovers. It oh. mitigates them. It's uh -huh. not uh -huh. vodka. Less. It's saying it helps you with a hangover. It's not a vodka. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you know, try it. Yeah, try See. it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. now. So, oh, by the way, the House of Blues, Dan. You don't know sad. this. You were part of the House of Blues, mm -hmm. and it was across the street. It's so sad it's gone. They dug up the coolest place in the world, and now it's some dumpy hotel that nobody cares well, about. Live Nation uh, bought House of Blues in 2007. And, How much did they uh, pay for it? They paid several, <laughs> yeah, so. several hundred million. Okay. Basically so, to save God the company. Damn. Because it had had many challenges, and they they came in and saved the company because, okay. <clears throat> you know, the dot-com bomb, 2008. Uh, all kinds of things, 9-11, uh, all kinds of things fought against House of Blues survival. And Live Nation came in and saved the company in 2,500 mm -hmm. jobs. And then uh, across the street here, the, the leaseholder uh, basically wanted the building back. And so they just paid Live Nation, you know, a sum to say, we want to build our own thing mm -hmm. here. And, and was, Live Nation looked at it economically and said, you know, we'd have to run a restaurant here for the next 50 years to make the, yeah. the money that was offered. So yeah, I understood the decision, but it's too bad. They took out our beautiful bar gorgeous. with the steel. Yeah. 
oh, curved yeah. steel, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my office. I mean, I hung. I saw the go-go's there. I saw so many. Oh, bands. so many great bands. Yeah, spot. there's yeah. one in Vegas. There's a there's a cool one in Anaheim. Is Vegas. There's still out there. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. eleven of them, and um and and they are uh, they're rocking. The one in Chicago was just great. Yeah, sure, that's a great brand. So so another business thing you got into. I mean, it seems to me just listening to you, it's a super creative expression of yourself. Because the first time I met you and you sat us all, we, you were visiting SNL. It was me and Phil and John, my first season. Mm. We were at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. First thing you said was, don't be in a hurry to leave the show. And the second one was just about business mm -hmm. and pay attention. Well, it's show business, right? You know? Yeah. But that yeah. Was, I remembered that to it's this day. It's always great to have great yeah. advisors. And, yeah. uh, you know, I've any work that I've done that I'm proud of, it's because I've been with wonderful collaborators. Any success I, I've mm -hmm. had, it's consulting people who are smarter than me in many areas, and and uh, just the fu the fun of working with 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 just great people uh, all all the way through. Um, any you know Murphy and Murray and and and, and all of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and then and and Lovitz, mm -hmm. of course. We we just think of him as he's as far as I'm concerned, he's the price of it. He's worth the price of admission to SNL generally. Is Lovitz. <laughs> <laughs> just that Lovitz was there, you know. Why uh, do you I did say a, that? Uh, That's oh, so funny. Oh, he is, I don't know where oh, he got that he character. He's spectacular. From. I, he, I did this thing. It's going to be out in the next year. Uh, the World in Six Glasses. It's a yes, documentary yeah. mm -hmm. talking about all the fluids that have influenced mankind <laughs> over time. And I yeah. had him on there. He came on and boy, that <laughs> was one it. of the most fun. Uh, yeah. Huh? I'll do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's so fucking Oh, no. He's what? just, he's Lovitz just. Lovitz is yeah. always a lot. You put him in the wedding singer. He's funny. Yeah. I've you, I've had him in movies. He's great. No, he is. He is. Jealous? Think, yeah. That's his big one. By yeah. the way. Hey, you, I like your glasses. Jealous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You he's mentioned uh, trading places and I, uh, I mean, there's too many <laughs> things to ask Dan Aykroyd about. I know. There's can't. not much to ask other than to fawn over things, but. Trading no. Places was one of the those movies that just hit us hard, and it was an R-rated movie, and it was so fucking funny. And then you just so I don't want to say did you know it going in, but you know you get to work with Eddie, and uh, did you know him well at all, or was just was it was it a gamble to put Eddie in? Um, it, nobody. Had, um, well, I think uh, you know he did the Walter Hill movie, he did the Walter Hill movie, and then Paramount funny? said, yeah, he'd be good. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow that pairing came together. I didn't know him before we started. Of course, he was spectacular to see that talent grow mm -hmm. and what he did in that film. And when I read the script, it was so intelligently written. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, uh, yeah, I, 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 that, this would be a, a great thing to play and have, have fun on because it was certainly different from, you know, uh, anything I'd done before. And uh, and then Landis directing it because he, he, we made a couple of things together. So. It was, uh, you know, all the, all the cylinders were clicking. Was it kind of like a '30s screwball comedy in that sense of? The it, it wasn't. You know, it was in a so way, fun and easy to it, watch. It was written by uh, a pair of writers, uh, Weingrad and Harris, and they mm -hmm. wrote it, um, and corresponded. I heard um, by fax machine to write it, uh, and, <laughs> uh, and I believe they did one other film, but that was certainly their most famous. Uh, yeah, and well known one, and so well done, and uh, you know, well directed with great actors in it. Yeah, that's a triple A. I'm proud of that one. Oh, Jamie Jesus. Lee. Jesus. Jamie Lee was, she was so, she's and a we force were in love with nature. her. Everything was working, and uh, you eating the salmon out of your beard. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's an ad lib yeah. or what, but those are the texture things in movies where they yeah. stick with you forever. I think that was, I have a beard on, I see the salmon. I'm going, <laughs> you know, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, there's the, you know, you come into the set, you know, you're looking yeah, around, stuff you can use yeah. all the time. You know, we're desperate. To, what do I, how do I fill it with business? What? A, so I have this uh, the beard and I'm, I love, there's a salmon. Like, oh yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if it was scripted or not, but I, I kind of remember it yeah, being spontaneous. Got I'm going to pick it up. Beer <laughs> hair to, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go for but it. But that's great because you look at scenes and, and, uh, and I almost forget that, you, you know, we did Tommy Boy and same thing. You, you look oh. at a day's shoot and you go, is there anything funny here? There's a clip on with Farley. We're like, let's in the night before we're like, hey, can he bring it? Can you guys give us a clip on just for one laugh so we can. It's all about brake pads. It, it was hard to make it that everything funny. <laughs> that reminds me of that. You get there, you see a salmon, you see a beard, you want to chew the beard. And, the, and, uh, and Landis was generous with that. Yeah. 
Oh, no, about he, just grabbing things. Oh no, and, he. So he was smart. Oh no, he 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 lets yeah. the performer go. You know, you know. And you mentioned Farley, of course, dearly yeah. beloved, dearly beloved. You yeah. know, of course, we Jeez, love him. Mr. Aykroyd. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could he be wow. more in love with Dan Aykroyd? Oh, it's unreal. I don't wow. think so. Cone I think heads, he was man. Coneheads. Yeah. He was in the Coneheads. He played the beautiful part. Oh, he was good in Coneheads. Yeah, he was great. Oh, oh yeah. You know when he do he, he would do cool. stuff on the set and he'd mm-hmm. move his head and we're like, that's Aykroyd, mm-hmm. that's Bill Murray, mm-hmm. that's Belushi. But the sweetest, <laughs> the sweetest, sweet, sweetest guy. Oh, just yeah. a sweet, sweet man. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just Miss Zelensky. Yeah. The name came back this year. Ah, uh, big, I big. Have a yeah. question. Yeah. He you were the did first. Such great stuff with his pants. Yeah. Pulling his pants I, up. Yeah. And he's I so just... respectful and polite yeah. and a church going, you know, oh, church yeah. goer. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, very, we had a blast on. Catholic. We had blast on Tommy Boy. I remember one night when you we were in like a. I think you were showing us. Is that where Rob Lowe gets hit in the balls? I don't want to give the whole movie away, but when we uh, well, we're in like we, we shot like twenty four hours, mm-hmm. and we had some factory in Toronto. Mm-hmm. We got to go up there, and uh, we were getting tired. Mm-hmm. Magna, and, Magna Magna Auto Parts, and you had yeah. the uh, Magna, there was yeah. the. <laughs> The uh, air freshener joke, uh, so many things. And then just to have you from the guy we love to be in the movie, and then the movie worked out. Yeah, it did. Oh, so well, that's much. That's a good fun. picture. That's a really good picture. It the is. deer scene. I mean, oh, God. That man. happened to Franken and Davis, you know. Oh, is that deer <laughs> yeah. came alive? A, 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 a car, they went, went through the, the windshield. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, yeah. I think that happens a lot. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. but I don't know how many times deer comes back alive. But um, that was the other. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. In their case, it might have. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Frank yeah. was like, uh, 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 "Well, we got a deer in the back." Yeah. Of the no! car. Well, you've got to be here. We've got a show. Mm-hmm. Just but you'll, we'll take care of the deer later. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell him. Uh, Sorry, told, we had Michael McKeon on. Remember Michael McKeon? Of course. And, uh, yeah, of course. Geez, well, I know his resume. It's like yours. Making, it's yeah, like he's exhausting. Everything. In a brilliant and way. and they're like, making a spinal tap again. I hope. Oh, I don't know. I, we I didn't hope, ask There's yeah. rumors of that. We don't, hope, we don't I mean, ask the good questions. Yeah. We just fawn. But uh, we were talking about Conan's. He was my partner in Conan's. And I was telling Dana that we were mm-hmm. the uh, immigration guys. Yeah. Not, uh, kind of the bad guys, whatever, you know. And uh, <laughs> and it was yeah. peppered with, we didn't mention it, but I think Sandler was in the movie. Farley had a big it part. It was his first uh, movie appearance, Sandler. Oh, was it? Conan? Yeah. Billy Madison. He played, yeah, yeah. he sold, uh, he sold the- Carmine uh, or something? He sold me the ID. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Fake ID. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And we had Ellen DeGeneres, Drew Carey, Sinbad. I know. That's Every so week peppered that place. Yeah. If you watch mm-hmm. it, you go, whoa, hey, oh, look who that is. It was a very good serviceable family comedy, and it, it certainly endures today, no doubt about serviceable. it. Serviceable. Yeah. I think that wasn't in the pitch. They, but, uh, uh, <laughs> they yeah, well, you know, they were- Studio's always hungry for yeah. barely- <laughs> No, I love Coneheads. Yeah. Uh, I told Dana and Michael that- he, Michael didn't know this. So, you know- It was supposed to come out at Halloween. They rushed it. If it had come oh, is that of, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley Jaffe there at uh, Paramount prodded Lauren to get it ready. And Lauren and I were thinking, Halloween, Halloween. But oh. no, we need it now. We need it now. So it would have it done better at, at Halloween. But it didn't. As a, all of these things have a life now. Listen, they, stay, uh, yeah, they, they yeah. people wind up seeing them. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. and when you're smoking weed and watching Saturday Night Live in 1978, they come on and they're... They're called the Coneheads, and their heads are like yes. Coneheads. When I That's mean, the when I spoke weed and, and wrote the thing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the no. Coneheads, yeah. and their heads look like yeah. Them. No, that's good. That that yeah. I, I didn't sure tell. I don't know if remembers. I I was telling them yesterday that uh, right when I, you were probably narfling the Garthok at this point, but uh-huh. uh, yeah. we were um, <laughs> narfling the Garthok. <laughs> we yeah. were uh, Michael and I were in t shirt and boxers to do a scene, and I was in the in my trailer and I said to the AD because I was so naive and so adorable and cherubic you but I were. said hey don't tell anyone and I can still work today I do have chicken pox <laughs> and he goes you have chicken pox oh. and I go uh, yeah <laughs> but it's oh it's here where my shirt is and it's on my legs and you can't see it and I'm in a scene with you and could have infested the whole every oh yeah and he goes okay hang on and they go shutting down the set I'm like what's going on I, I didn't even connect it to me <laughs> and so they sent everyone home and uh, I don't even know if you're working that day, but I was like, oh my God. And so, and then someone goes up, oh, that's going to cost a studio. You're in trouble. Everything was terrifying me to get fired, but wound up being a, a blast. But uh, that's <laughs> remembering you have a chicken pox way late. Yeah. I know you I didn't get it Conan's. as a kid. It's so no. Amazing. And I was such a weak little puss of a kid. I got a uh, measles knocked me out for three weeks, which was abnormal. 
when much. you were 37? Yeah. Or what? No, no, that I got when I was a normal kid. Okay. <laughs> but I was uh, very frail. You can't tell this athlete that sits in front of you today. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> marathon but, runner. Marathon runner. Dana's yeah, a marathon yeah. runner. That was such a fun picture, mm-hmm. Cone Hats. And then it, we had a great cast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, I'm proud of that one. I like that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do you, I mean, this is just fan type questions. Mm-hmm. Like when you look at, <laughs> you will be. You take you take a dragnet. You take you take, take a. Uh, you will be spared. <laughs> you will be spared. <laughs> you will be spared. I will place both of you on the protected rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more of it. Goodbye. <laughs> Remember, I was behind Dave Thomas at the end. They brought me in for an extra yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. There will be, and I go. It's yeah, too bad. that was so. I was just good. mocking everything. Yeah. I just said whatever. Uh, you were I, I, when I turned and went with the cone heads at the end. So yeah. this, you can order this on Amazon for like Shit, three bucks, is. right? For just people just listening to like now. Just drink when you see a were celebrity. The, were there two Conan movies or just one? Just one. They're, hey, listen, I would do that character in a second. In fact, I have a story idea, but you know, I'm too busy now. To, you know, and you no one's going to listen to a story idea. How do you sleep at night? At Coneheads. No one's going to want another <laughs> Coneheads out there. Paramount Plus? No. Plus. <laughs> no, Hulu no. is waiting. Yeah. I know the guy who runs Hulu. Crystal Vodka, the yeah. movie. I'm going to text him. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, I was on the Hulu there. I was, I did a little show called Zombie Town and R.S. Stein. You know the Goosebumps yeah, yeah. author. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's on Hulu now. It's called Zombie Town, and it's like, it's like, okay, now. Children of America, <laughs> you're gonna have to learn about zombies. This is an introductory movie about zombies for you, gentle and soft, <laughs> oh, yeah, and kind of right. funny, a little scary, mm-hmm. yeah, so that you can step up to you know, totally the the world Z. of Z. What's that? Z, the world war Z, the world war Z. Oh, that was great. I remember Lauren <laughs> asked me when his kids were little, goes, I, I don't really understand Scooby Doo. Mm. And I said, I, said yeah, I, I don't really get why they love it. And it was to your point, it was the first time when they're a certain age, it's a little scary. The mask comes off, mm. there's a haunted person. So that's yeah. that was the rocket that's right. yeah, fuel you, you, for yeah. that. Get them, yeah. You step them, them up inured. to the exorcist. That's right. That's and then step them up, I yeah. saw it at 17. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. haven't unseen it. <laughs> I but I 17 love Linda is Blair. even too early. Yeah. Well, we went in. We I've did, never seen it. We oh, you don't see it. It's it's. I'm too scared. I guess it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I, I mean, believe in that shit. Oh. I'm a paranormal guy like that. Dan, you believe in UFOs? I well, they, believe well, that they're. I, just I know they're real. Well, they're, yeah, everyone I, believes in UFOs. It's just it's, where it's, are they coming from yeah. is the only. But mm-hmm. of course, there's. I, I know they're real. You can be a skeptic and say, oh, well. But, I'm but not a skeptic, but I do real. have a question for you. Where? They're coming from all, all different species. There's probably dozens of them. Do they come from the ocean? I, it, there may be bases there. And, 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 and uh, Go ahead. Oh, I love okay. it. No, uh, no I just, the question is, are. look, I'm, I'm totally, because I whenever I'm thinking about supernatural stuff, and what, yeah. I always go, we're here. So the greatest supernatural thing is that we exist right now talking here. How do we get here? What are we doing here? Was, you know, so I'm open-minded to all of it. What I was curious about the United States Air Force, that the sightings of the UFOs mm-hmm. seem to be stuck in kind of a black and white, herky-jerky 1950s motif. Yeah. Can't they get more sophisticated cameras on these suckers so we yeah. can really... Well, there's more footage coming out, uh, and uh, it is all governed now by the new office at the Pentagon that handles this, and yeah. it is called the All Domain... Because they go in water. They fly through water a thousand miles an hour. So space, sky, water, all domain, anomalous. You don't know what it is. Resolution, because they have to resolve. They've got military craft and and, and equipment being exposed. So it's the uh, all domain, anomalous, resolution office to figure out what they are. And so that's... uh, we actually have a Pentagon department now that's working on that or a branch that's working. And, you know, uh, all those sightings will be... Uh, brought in by the military and brought in by uh, civilians and 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 analyzed there. So it, it's real. They're there. Again, your question, who, where, where are they coming from, why? I think a lot of them are just tourists. I think it's not well, as scary a little bit because they, and I'm scared of them, even though I, I do. Is it dimensional? Well, go it ahead. Should but I think they, they would have done whatever they're going to have done. They're yeah. already here. They've been here a million times. They mm-hmm. would. They can take us out if they want. I, that's yeah. why I feel a little easier. They're not. I, I don't. I don't think they're a threat. However, you I know, will shoot. Uh, them. No, I'm kidding. If you talk to some of the aviators down near in Marina del Rey with the fire department, the police department, the sheriff's department, helicopters and such, <laughs> they see them all the time. And I they, know. And they seem to be bugging them and and flying them, flying around and like challenging them. 
I'm so. Do you in, feel in a way, Dan, you were ahead of your time in a sense because now it's going more mainstream. Yes, you were with the Pentagon, and it's more acknowledged. I, and I, you've been I, talking I, about I've it seen for a while. four of them. And, and my, oh, my we've mother. seen two here, unidentified oh, you, you media cops. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so then, and my mother Stella saw one. You see, <laughs> that was why I got interested in. It. My mother saw one in 1947, and she worked in the aircraft production uh, ministry in World War II uh, at that uh, with. Uh, in Ottawa during the war mm -hmm. in aircraft production for the fuselages on the hurricane. So she knew aircraft and she said, 1947, she saw one on, uh, 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 the, uh, sparks, spark street there. in Holy Ottawa. Shit, they're going to Ottawa now? Yeah. Back then they worked. Yeah. Yeah. They kind well, of buzzed going, by going 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 everywhere. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think here. they want a formal relationship with us, but they will take advantage of us using they're their flirty. superior technology. Well, do you have any sense of being connected to, uh, mm -hmm. 2001, a space odyssey, just the idea that we were seated here by an alien race, oh! uh, still seems a fascinating. Yeah. You potential. know, one of the favorite movies of a lot of people at NASA mm -hmm. is the movie that, uh, that was uh, that was made mission to Mars with what had, what had the face the face on Mars in it, and but the that theory was, was Gary that, Sinise. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, no, and uh, uh, mission to Mars. It wasn't the one with uh, Matt Damon. Um, Matt Damon. That was no, the, no, no, no. It was the one Martian. with Gary yeah. Sinise. This, yeah. this postulated that we were seated here, and, and there was some help. Right. Was was uh, you know there From was Mars. some help. Yeah, and so a lot of NASA personnel uh, see that as a kind of a viable uh, concept. From what I've you know, when I understand. Oh, well, well, of course, uh, and everything's yeah. on the table yeah, unless someone is, has yeah. all this figured out. Have you seen mm. any aliens? Because they have pictures of them. They have. I don't. I never know. Never seen. But a you being. know, they're out. You know that people have seen pictures. Yeah. Sure. Sure. No. All kinds of different these shapes. Out. And you know my poltergeist or whatever you call them experiences that are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah you know. really went through that. Yeah, and well, it was annoying to you that ex the, your experiences. <laughs> it wasn't something you enjoyed, right? It was no it was, what. Well, the one that was the well, there's uh, there's the many were, of them, but in yeah. this house we have up in Northern California, it was built in 1912. There's three bedrooms upstairs. My son <clears throat> was in one bedroom. He was the older brother, and over time, he had a lot of waking dream states or nightmares, and mm -hmm. he moved into his brother's room just organically, the younger brother. Mm -hmm. And so one night, and I didn't know what white noise was at this point, Ugh. believe it or not, he just had not, Terrible. it was the 90s or whatever. So he had a boom box in the bedroom he'd left. So I wake up to this, like a FM radio between Rock. channels, right? Yeah. I'm going, why is everyone sleeping? Whoa. So I walk around and by the time I get in the room, I don't hear it. But it was not a waking dream state. It wasn't like a nightmare. It was just like, what the heck? And so that room, I also had some, when I slept in there once because company's over, I had an experience there. But I've become less afraid of it because if it starts to happen, I just sort of go with it now. Yeah, you know? well, it happens to millions of people. Hans Holzer, H-O-L-Z-E-R, he was the great Ghostbuster and he has a great number of books upon uh, uh, you know dealing mm -hmm. with all of the things that he, he dealt with in his yeah. career. Is yeah. that how Ghostbusters started, is you just got into all that? Well, my family was into it. My great-grandfather was a spiritualist researcher, and uh, all around the house, uh, in the cottage there that we had in the summers, which was the, the summer house uh, where he lived, uh, was full of journals and books and his writings. Mm -hmm. And so I was sitting there flipping through uh, a journal from the American Society for Psychical Research, and it was an article on quantum physics and parapsych parapsychology, and I just went, okay parapsychology, quantum physics, the real terms, the real vernacular, the real research that's being done, marry that to an old style comedy like Abbott and Costello, Bowery Boys, yep. Bob Hope and uh, Dean Bing, uh, Bing, uh, Bing, Crosby. Uh, Bing Crosby, who did ghost <laughs> movies. Yeah. In fact, uh, Hold That Ghost, I think is a movie with Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin, and it's the first use of the term Ghostbusters. Somebody asks Dean Martin, who are you guys? We're Ghostbusters, he says. Oh, are they yeah. so? Where are they and by the way, just as an aside. We're Ghostbusters. I yeah, want to tell he, you. He what says, yeah. <laughs> so that was the first use of the term, and it was a great tradition of ghost movies in Hollywood. I thought, let's marry the real vernacular, the real science, the real fact that, that people are seriously, you know, seriously into this research with an old-style comedy. Now, as an aside... That movie, Hold That Ghost, with Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Jerry Lewis does a 
a walk down the stairs in the old castle set mm-hmm. that it defies physics. The way he comes down those stairs and doesn't kill himself yeah. is amazing. He was a spectacular. Was he trying to be? No, he was just coming down the stairs. Oh, just being as like clumsily coming down the stairs, not possessed or something. He is, no, no, just clumsily no, walking down the stairs, and he. I don't know how he didn't kill himself. He was a masterful physical comedian. Did you absolutely masterful? Yeah, to you your knew, point, you got, you got you hung with him. Unless you must have known Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Yeah, N- not really. No, I, I met the really? woman who played the ingenue in Cinderella. Oh Paul. yeah, Cinderella. Yeah. And then I went and looked at a scene on YouTube of Jerry Lewis. There's, there's a centerpiece where he's dancing around with the stairs. To your point, the physical comedy is breathtaking. Yeah, and it no. went on and on. He was directing oh, it. No. You must have met him. I did. I, I well, actually, I met. I talked Dean to him on the phone. I. Schaefer hooked him up oh, yeah. on the phone with me one day, and hello. Uh, Jerry and uh, hello and Jerry and I. Jer- <laughs> I said, Jerry, can you can you give me a nyang, a nyang? <laughs> give me a nyang. And he on the phone. I'll never forget. Over the phone, I heard. Nyang, 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 nyang. It all comes from the 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 the, the Jewish uh, Yiddish theater of the Lower East Side, the Catskills. That all of that humor, the nyang, the shoulder yeah. take, the spit take, uh, the fork drop. Have you ever, have you ever, the fork drop's wonderful. You're sitting at dinner, <laughs> somebody says something and bang, yeah. the fork. That's all uh, comedy from the Yiddish uh, <laughs> yeah. Lower East Side. Do you know that there's a wonderful expression for your show in Yiddish, the fly in the wall? And it goes, it's the flick auf der Wand. <laughs> That's how you say fly on the wall in Yiddish. Fliege auf der Wand. Let's get this so we have That's this nice. for our promos. Yeah. Yeah. If <laughs> that sounds like he's making. <laughs> yes. yeah, it's yeah. poetic. So that uh, the ngang, he gave me a ngang, and, and, and all of that comes from that rich, rich tradition. Did you American have other um, like heroes? Like, Did Cary Grant ever reach out to you? Or other uh, super in the 70s whoa. when you guys were exploding? Cause Tim Leary. And Davis were Timothy good Leary? Yeah, Timothy oh, Leary and I Davis see. were good. I bought <laughs> him. Davis, yeah. I bought him yeah, uh, and on our friends. I bought the last steak dinner that he ate uh, before he died at the at the Marmont over there at the and restaurant. What'd you put in it? Really? Uh, he, it was already taken <laughs> care of. And now everybody's yeah. doing it yeah. for uh, and, mental uh, health reasons. And, uh, Timothy Leary. I met Jimmy Hoffa. Because I, I whatever happened to him? Uh, that's a big well, one. We, uh, yeah, <laughs> giant stadium. That's the last I heard. Uh, that was yeah, yeah. Well, you saw that movie with Al Pacino on that. That's Met him. Heather is that uh, ice. Uh, Lauren Bacall. I worked with her. I worked with Jim Garner and uh, oh, and, and Jack very... Lemon. I worked with the, oh. Jack Lemon and Jay in a movie called American President. Oh, uh, and Lauren Bacall was in that. That Pete was Siegel. wonderful. Was that uh, Pete Siegel? Yeah, Pete Siegel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, work with work, work with the all v- great veterans like that. Yeah, yeah. that's what oh. I was curious about. Wow. I assume oh, you too. intersected with oh, them. So neat. So yeah. neat. So neat. And, it's something uh, yeah. special. When you left SNL, was there? So Chevy came. We had Chevy on here. He was. Mm-hmm. He was Perfectly bananas the way we wanted. <laughs> That's amazing. Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're he so was mad non-stop. we didn't film it. It was so uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. He was doing shtick and stuff. <laughs> no, his non-stop. sticks and stones. His, his work with his fingers. <laughs> if you never saw any other part of him, <laughs> the work with his hands. I, I I remember he he did something just like you know he's like he's he's there he's, he's got the fingers walking and then all of a sudden. <laughs> and it starts to, and you, you, it's just hilarious the control. You know? Yeah. Well, we had this here, which is like ten bottles on a tray. And he it, just he, waited, uh, and at a given point, he just put them all like down. Pulling, he, like, he reached for it, and it was just like, like they bowling were pins. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Yeah. But he waited. He yeah. knew. Yeah. You could tell he knew. Oh early no, on. Know. <laughs> that was his go-to. No, I and love uh, Chevy. I no, love we him. do too. And you stayed straight through. Like he, he was the first year of SNL, and then you stayed. How long did you stay? Five years. Four. Four years. Yeah, and the reason we left was purely and sorely because, and uh, we, we had to finish the Blues Brothers. Oh, you know, we really? Thought maybe it was a possibility we'd go back. You know, we went to Chicago. Then the movie went sort of early summer, late. Oh, it summer, kept going. Autumn and. But you were we, shooting. And we were shooting, and we had to go back to L.A. to shoot some of the stuff inside the church scene, the uh, soul food restaurant, all of that would oh. be done in L.A. And we knew we couldn't go back, so. I made the call to Lauren saying we weren't going to return. No. For John How hard I. was that? It was a little, it was made a little easier because when uh, Animal House was being done, they wanted me to play D-Day and they wanted me to join Landis and, and uh, Reitman and, yeah. Uh, and, oh, yeah. and, yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, John in, in Oregon to do that movie. And I, I just looked and I just, 
John's gone, man. I just looked and I thought, you know, how can I can't leave Lauren here without another, without a writer or an actor, you know? Mm -hmm. So I told him, I said, I'm, I'm going to stay. And I stayed on then. So when we left for Blues Brothers, it was a little easier because I did mm -hmm. stay on and I didn't yeah. leave for Animal House. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy, and, and, not, and there's a, like somebody, some analyst somewhere, some pundit or something said, oh, Lauren forced me to stay. Or was it, you know, you forced the contract. Lauren is not a dictator slave driver. Like you want to go, you mm -hmm. go. He's not like that. No. He no. encouraged us. Yeah, he wouldn't end, want you know? to look thirsty like that. He would say, he would hey, if you got to go. We, if, we'd love to have you, you know, but yeah. if you need to go, you know, yeah, that would no, be his gracious thing. Canadian. Yeah. yeah. And then he you, fell in love with his cast members. He I did. He he said, did to did, this did. day, he loves comedians. He did. My boys and my girls, he calls them. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no he, he and, loves it. He loves them. When I came in in 86, because he'd had that five-year hiatus, mm -hmm. constantly references to you guys. And it was so intimidating to Danny. me. And it was like, <laughs> Danny did it, because you know, I'd come up with an idea. Well, Danny did that season two. And no. Like, <laughs> no, no. Chevy believes. You know, <laughs> no. But you guys are the original. <laughs> that. So there is only. Billy, the, Chevy, Danny. Yeah. Never the last name. Never said yeah, Dan yeah, Aykroyd. Never said Paul Simon. Never said Paul McCartney. And look how the show's going now. So current, so relevant. Always and works. So yeah. extraordinary, yeah. When you did Blues Brothers, which is one of my all-time uh, great ones, so. And I know you opened for Steve Martin at the Universal. I heard that's a uh, that's show. Why of the there century. is a Blues Brothers because John recorded the record from there. God damn. Yeah. Um, when you was, do, how do you get Carrie Fisher? Was she Star Wars or was she? How did they get right her around my girlfriend? You mean? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she didn't let's do, get into the she Dan didn't do a lot. love line. No, well, uh, well, because uh, it wasn't the Barbie part for her. She was you know good friends with with John and and good just good friends with Penny Marshall and John and the, it was a whole. She was Penny's buddy and and uh, we just asked her to be a part of it and she was a part of it and then we fell in love and uh, we almost got married. We had blood tests and rings exchanged and wow. everything. And uh, I, I was ready to spend the rest of my life with, with Carrie. And uh, after we wrapped the movie, we got into a Lear 24 with John and Judy, mm -hmm. and we flew to Martha's Vineyard, and we flew to this house that Judy had bought me in the vineyard to be near John to plan future projects, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, Judy, just buy me a house. I don't care <laughs> what it looks like. Just it was our first check from Atlantic Records, and she bought me a house and said, you're going to see your house tonight for the first time. And you're bringing Carrie home. So I brought Carrie home to this house I'd never seen. Okay. And it's night and the <laughs> fog is like down and low. And we go in and walk in and they flip the lights on. And I could just tell that it was not to Carrie's design sense at all. Uh, it was a mid fifties, a lot of modern furniture, very, mm. uh, you know, uh, Eames chairs and stuff. And she, <laughs> so that night was a, a difficult night. And then in the morning I heard her talking to Paul Simon, her, boyfriend at the time before and and i could hear her talking Harry. and, and hear yeah, well i'll be there and i'll be in new york tomorrow or to, or today and i thought oh she's leaving so um i said you know carrie the view is supposed to be beautiful in this house you should stay no i have to get back i've got to go back to paul i've got to go i'm going back down to please take me to the airport nothing rancorous or very amicable i thought it was we thought we were getting married <laughs> I go, I drive her to the airport, and get her on a plane, kiss her goodbye and say, I'll, I'll see you soon. We'll hang, you know, I, I love you. I love you. And then, you know, she flies off and I drive in the Jeep back to the, the Martha's Vineyard house and I'm kind of despondent and I, I walk, I drive up to the house and the fog has lifted and I've got a 275 degree view of the ocean the islands uh -huh. and that this beautiful beautiful promontory that the house was on i thought you know she saw saw that she might have she saw I mean, we would have been married today you yeah. know it's like manhattan socked in uh, yeah. oh it's the only time we went is it yeah. always foggy June, no June, no no gotcha. it's yeah. and so wow. yeah that means but we, we we were good friends all the way right to the end of her life of course and um, blues brothers i think it's one of those where a lot of people want to be around funny people and she's like if i and she's a big star, but it's like, and hey. funny herself. Yeah. I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. She's brilliant great woman. in that. Yeah, she's it's, great. We had a ball, of course, you know, because we, we, we were making a movie and we were in love. You know, maybe making a movie with someone you love. You can go to work in the morning with I them. I can't imagine the rocket ship. You know, I had my own little success there too, Wayne's World. Anyway, um, but you guys, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm doing a David there. <laughs> Blues Brothers, when I first saw that, I was like, this is so electric on every level. So like nice. you're enjoying it. You and John, 
the dancing and the energy of it was like, mm. well, this is something new. So different, yeah. This is like really musical too. <laughs> like the band was kicking. <gasps> And then you guys were just so funny with all the shtick. To me, again, at just a, tr fantasizing about being on Saturday Night Live, just those characters. Don't get me started with wild and crazy guys. Don't even start with that. Come well, on, I don't think I can do that guy no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't play around with accents anymore. You can't have it. <laughs> oh, and you can't even talk about the parts on a woman. <laughs> the parts. And we look, they will love our American bulges or what was Yeah, the bulges, yeah. <laughs> Please, don't, uh, you will be shocked by my great bulge. <laughs> You know, you got to watch it these days. I mean, I was oh, so man. influenced by you guys, got rhythmically, uh, musically. You what know, about you, you had Aretha well, Franklin? Well, you, 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 oh, she was You had Aretha, astounding. that I think, that is one of the yeah, greatest she things. Was That's the one you talking about inside. She in looked so cute in, the, in, the, in that waiter's outfit. She's she didn't want to wear the waitress's outfit. No, I can't, I can't. And oh, then she's great. Deborah Nandulman, Landis's wife, the designer, designed this beautiful Waitresses she looked great. That made her look great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Close. She was a It was even funnier man. that she had that. So on. supportive of us all the way through. She always was. And so was Ray and everybody. Mm. Yeah. It was, and it John was, Candy. Yeah. We had another uh, Candy was in Legend. It. Yeah, yeah. And then we had Cropper and Dunn, who were mm -hmm. Otis Redding's guitar players. So that made it happen. Now I still play with uh, with Jimmy, John's brother. We go out and we have an active concert schedule. Uh, we go out with a band that we uh, got yep. here from California and Texas that we put together over the years. And, uh, uh, we got a, you know, we got a what's, couple of gigs what's more, up. What's more fun than that? Uh, no, that it, the I mean, music nothing, right? and, and the the, music. hear that guitar and hear that, yeah. just the organ and, uh, you know, moving. I've got, you know, 78% of the moves left. So, you know. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last week it was 80, but it <laughs> declines. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the low 40s. Low 40s. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's not, I'm not it's not all clicking. Uh, or it is clicking. God That's the problem. So you're yeah. going along, there's trading places, there's Blues Brothers, there's all these stuff we get on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And then, and Red then, well, so what's, fun. what's Dan going to do now? And then, I don't know what the trajectory was, but then Ghostbusters was like probably equivalent, inflation adjusted, almost like Gone with the Wind or something. It was like, Three hundred million in nineteen eighty four. That's right. So like it was three hundred million then, now, yeah. or a billion. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. So what? Titanic. And you thought of it. You the, the but cusp that, that was day, you. That day at, at yeah. the farmhouse where and the you, old where the seances take took place. Where my great great grandfather had seances uh, from the twenties and that. And I, I was sitting there reading that journal, and I just thought, old style Abbott and Costello comedy with the real science. Marry it up. It's brilliant. But who's you know, the first person you told? Um, <laughs> well, that would have been Bernie Brillstein, I guess. Oh, no. yeah, Bernie. Uh, and then, I love it. And then Ovitz. <laughs> and then I, I, I turned a draft in to both of those guys. And then we went to Ivan and Ivan got, got it, how it could be fixed and made yeah. what it was. You, you know, wrote the, it fat, right? Well, I, mean, I not so much lengthwise, but mm -hmm. it was a little darker. It was a little, it wasn't the movie mm -hmm. you saw, but it certainly mm -hmm. had all of the stuff in there, mm -hmm. uh, that became the movie. All the yeah. elements were there. Uh, so, and then, uh, Ivan looked at it and then Ivan said, let's go to Harold. And Harold looked at it and understood what I was trying to do here with it. And then, and then we decided, what do we do about cast? Well, and then and Harold and Ivan looked at each other and said, well, if we could get Murray, we will give it to Murray. I mean, and then, so we, we, he carried the ball for us. He was yeah. the master of those lines, those throwaway lines, I, his I, style. I, one of the, probably the greatest comedy romantic lead of our, of our, of our generation. And maybe yeah. many, yeah. many. And him and Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Very cool. Which is yeah, so beautiful. Brilliant together. Beautiful. It all yeah. came together. It was just magic nicely. once a film works, yeah. any yeah. film. But when something like that, that's old and new, and then just mm -hmm. connects so strong. I remember going to, you know, it was like Jaws in a way. Huge lines, theater packed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a How cult fun. phenomenon. Fun. How fun really to fun. have that hit. And because you could have screwed that movie up easily. I mean, <sighs> it's a great idea, oh. but everywhere along the movie, line, you know, go wrong. any yeah. movies, you go in where it's good and you go, God, where do we go wrong? The editing, the this, the casting, but to get it every step of the way, mm -hmm. and it comes well, out. Well, look at who was on it, right? Harold, uh, great Jim, Ivan, the, the Rick shooter, Moranis had Moranis. Oh, a great he was part. He had a great part. Too. Rick Moranis, no, Moranis was movie, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Big, I invite he, business. Him and Sigourney and friends. Ken. Uh, him and Sigourney are big parts of, of, of why that movie works. Great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. Zool. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Well, and I, I was on IMDb today because I. I could not remember who Dan Aykroyd was. Mm -hmm. And so I looked him up <laughs> and even Ghostbusters, there's like 80 iterations. It's like a cartoon of this. There's so many 
Yeah. Because there's pro- I think there's a new one coming out. Uh, there's, there's, well, there's a new, uh, animated, uh, cartoon that they're working on. Okay. Right but yeah. is there a movie movie or not? Isn't, uh, I don't know what the Jason status Ryman. is with strikes and all that. They're telling me not strikes strikes over. Over. Uh, is it really? Today. Yeah. Today. Well then in March, Ghostbusters, <laughs> Frozen Empire <laughs> with, uh, McKenna Grace, Finn Wolfhart, <laughs> Billy, myself, Winst, uh, 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 Ernie, um, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, Patton Oswalt, thank you very much, and Paul Patton Rudd, Oswalt. oh, shit. and uh, Carrie Coon, and uh, you've already got a cast. Uh, we we and uh, yeah, we 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 are we are ready to go in March with a spectacular new release, a great new story, and it is going to be hot and really fun, scary, whole new generation handing it to the kids. Um, really excited. We we completed it in England, and it's going to be coming out uh, in March. Oh, so you oh. did do it? It's, it's done. Over. Oh, it's done. It comes out in March. I just couldn't talk, talk about it till this instant. I, I read it. about this, and then I thought maybe something happened. We have a we have a yeah. Uh, gave me that blank we have stare. A scoop I'm like, ghost right now like, on, uh, I go fly on the wall. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's our first real scoop. It I is. Know. Too I'm bad telling, this comes I'm, out in two years. Talking about it for the first time in any media right here. Yeah. Okay. So you have Paul Rudd. You've got. Kelly, and pa- Patton Carrie, Oswald, yeah, Finn Who is from Patton Stranger Oswald. Things. How, how about that? Hysterical. As, as a yeah. genius and a great, great comic actor. Oh yeah, a serious no. actor too. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Great delivery. Yeah, always. Yeah. Any so. name ghosts? Um, we got the Tic Tac ghost from the Navy video. Um, what's the plot? Dan? Oh yeah, we what's the plot? Yeah. <laughs> or can you tell us? Uh, well, uh, leave us to say that uh, you know, an entity is found. In a psychometrically charged object. Too much. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I figured the whole thing out. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love it. I'm excited. Oh, no, it's good. It's and it's really Jason good. Reitman? I'm going to no. do a Jason pre-order direct, right uh, Jason, now Jason uh, Keenan, uh, Gil Keenan directed it, uh, Jason's partner. Oh, I love it. Jason did mm. Second Unit, and they co-wrote Great it together. Great guy, Jason. And, of course, the kids are wonderful. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, McKenna, Finn, and... And, uh, and you do your guy? I do, you know, the, uh, the, the enthusiastic, the, uh, you know... Well, wants to believe everything, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, kind of uh, a little kind of resentful that that you know things have passed him by Ghostbuster in this one, you know, because they, they, uh-huh. he's no longer licensed. You always have that skill set of putting a lot of words together, really. Like <laughs> that is true. Like as a comic concept, you know. But 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 you know that. Is that something you did as a because, kid? It, it's, well, it's I, like my mother Danny was French Canadian. My mother was French Canadian, and I oh, grew okay. up around French Canadians. And French Canadians, they speak very fast like that. He parle vite comme ça, non, non, non. Viens ici là, amène moi ça. No, 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 no. They, 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 they talk a lot, a lot fast. Bring me that right now. Give, 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 give me the salt. Give me the pepper. Give me the steak. Give me the potato. Give <laughs> yeah. me the, you, want, you want some wine? You want? They talk like that. They're fast. Yeah, yeah. the French Canadians. So I, I, I had this always, you know. And plus. Sitting around the table, there'd be 14 family members, and you know you, you couldn't get a, a, a word in unless you inje- interjected it, injected it in there. So, how did you go from like a 14 year old, 15 year old, and then you were really were you on SNL at 21 or 22 or something? Uh, well, I was 23. The so first young. Year. Yeah. So what? The, just quickly, I mean, for well, your second fan- city at, tw- at at 21 and 22. What and, your late and teen years? And Michaels at 19. I uh, I worked with him on a on CBC it. special at 19. Oh. And his show, uh, and, yeah. Heart, Heart and uh, the and Heart and Lauren Terrific Hour. You were on that. Uh, it was on an offshoot hour. of that. That's right. So you were like 18 or 19. You're on television uh, in Canada doing that's sketch right, comedy. That's right. That's right. 19. Okay, it's called yeah, a yeah. savant. Yeah. Well, it was it's it was called, called uh, <laughs> an early was, adopter. Yeah. It was uh, it was it was being steeped in, in improv. My parents sent me at 12 years old to Ottawa Little Theater uh, improv class, and so I was I was already doing it sort of back then. You know, it and, just uh, it came to you. It's like Larry Bird. He said when basketball, he first got a basketball in hands. He said uh-huh. the game came to me. So it just came to you. Uh, it was, it was, it was, you and know. And then you worked was, your ass it, off, it was, of course. Well, I was, it was, I was encouraged to pursue it. And it was fun to do improv and that. Yeah. And, uh, and then at Second City, I was learning all the techniques over again that I'd already, uh, I'd already known at 12 and 13 years old at the little theater improv classes. Yeah. So started it, early, you know. Um, it seems to me that in your part of this, it, we're talking to Michael McKean and, you know, the the Beatles and all the music of the 60s. Yeah. And then the trundling along with Peter Sellers. And then you all kind of knew each other from 70 or 75 or, you know. It's very interesting because you, you were like the, the Beatles of comedy to me, yeah. the SNL cast. Well, you had the, you had the Lampoon crew. You had, you know, yeah, uh, Chevy. Chevy and you mm-hmm. had uh, Chris Guest yeah. and Harry Shearer and you had... Uh, 
uh, Johnny uh, Belushi, and mm -hmm. uh, and then you had Gilda, the, 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 uh, Gilda eventually, because uh, Belushi stole her away there from Second City. Then you had the Canadian mm -hmm. crew: Levy, O'Hara, myself, Candy, yeah. uh, right, Moranis, right. Thomas. Yeah, that was so. There were SCTV. two, and then and, yeah. and the Venn diagram kind of crossed, and some of those people ended up working with each other on on various yeah. things. Um, yeah, but wow, I think my first. Hitters. The first time, like for as like getting interested in entertainment, okay, I'm in grade three. Now, what the hell? In grade three, I'm like, I'm five years old, maybe four, no, five, eight, five. eight. Five. eight. eight. I'm, I'm grade uh, grade yeah. three. So I go. Uh, You're seventeen. <laughs> no, I was. I was. I was young. I was. Slow. You know, five or five, three or five, four or five, I guess, in grade three or something. Yes. So what happened? And so they they were doing an Irish uh, St. Patrick's Day concert. And they compelled me to learn McNamara's band. You know that song? Mm. Da, 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 oh, Hennessy, oh, Tennessee, yeah. Toodle the Flute, the there music was something yeah. grand. Little yeah, so I know the melody. <laughs> I, so they put me in a green bowler and a green vest and a green pants and <laughs> leprechaun shoes, put me out on stage with a, with a sync track. And, and I, you know, they made me learn it. They made me stay back from school to learn it. And so the, the concert comes and, and we go, uh, I go to the concert and I start singing and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to get through this. God, I remember it vividly. Oh God. <laughs> and I get to the end and I and finish and give the tap dance finish and <sighs> yeah. uh -oh. howling the crowd. They, Whoa, really? You like that that much? And I'm thinking to myself, Oh wow, that's good! And so I was the big applause, and they take me off stage into the wings. I give back my bowler, and I'm thinking, "Oh man, that wow, that 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 was very very interesting." And then two of my friends, Ricky uh, and Greg, come up. Rick Halls Hollingsworth and Greg Chidivas, and they come up and they say, "Hey, yeah, that was nothing, man. They're like the like the the bad uh, the bad donkeys oh, in, really? in, uh, <laughs> in bad donkeys in over in uh, you know in the uh, in in Pinocchio, you know the yeah. bad bad. Yeah, you you're know. not so nah, good. Don't yeah, get cocky. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Think that was good. You think that? Come here, come on with us. Let me show you something. Let, let, let me show you this. Let's <laughs> let's show you this. They take me across the street to the funeral home across the street from the mm -hmm. church hall where I did the concert. So I go from the elation of singing. McNamara's band and getting cheered yeah. to two minutes later walking into the funeral home where seven bodies are laid out. What? A family that had drowned in a car seven? the night before. Seven, the father, the mother, the sisters, God, the these brother. these cockblockers don't want you to be famous. <laughs> I go this. Jesus. Look at this, look at this. And I walk in, I'll never what? forget that as long as I like. He'd, he'd rolled his car in the, in the Gatineau River and drowned. And so they bring me from, you know, my performance. Euphoria. I go across the street, euphoria to... Whoa! But are they jealous? I didn't. Or what? Uh, well, that was uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, Namby Pamby singing, and they look at these dead people. So they go over, and, and there were the se the seven uh, on a baby coffin too. <laughs> Jesus, great! Crew. I didn't do any jigs for I years and years afterwards. That turned me right off oh, any sure. kind of performance. That's a true story. Isn't that weird? It's, oh wow! And then it's horrifying. Seven bodies, the the family, and all beautifully preserved. Never forget the dark eyebrows Ugh, of the mother and father. And the, and I'm the still baby, processing this story. The baby yeah, outfit. It's so yeah, hilly. It was, and then it you're in the Exhilaration and the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at age five, six, <laughs> seven. They ruined it. They, want they ruined, yeah. It. So I, I didn't dance or sing for years afterwards. Weirdly, my first gig was in a funeral home. Mm -hmm. But that's a whole other story. David? I played a dead yeah. body <laughs> yeah. in that scene. No, uh, you when, on SNL, so you get there. What's your first big uh, sketch that works? Is it just the very first show or is it? Matic. Oh, the first <laughs> oh, sketch that works was the the win that uh, the one that Garrett and I did as home uh, home invasionists to prove to the homeowner that their their house was vulnerable, and so we break <laughs> into their home to prove it was vulnerable. Yeah, and then pitch them on an alarm system. Is that first show? Great. That was the first sketch I was in. Yeah. For yeah. show, yeah. And that was the Wolverine one. And the uh, well, opening. it opened a cold opening yeah. was John and the Wolverine with Michael yeah. O'Donoghue. Oh, Michael and, and then we had the, the home uh, invasion sketch. Yeah. You were after the monologue? After the monologue. When was that's it? The, oh, that's a good spot. That's the yeah. home run spot. Right, Who right was there. the host of your first show? Uh, George Carlin. George Carlin. George Carlin. I waited on him once at a Holiday Inn. <laughs> yeah. I brought him oatmeal. He goes, oatmeal, drop the O and you have that meal. <laughs> He did he at, really? Yeah. Why is there yeah. no blue Look at your shoes, big shoes, little shoes, brown shoes, girl school yeah. shoes. Uh, he was that was yeah. he was working on a. Don't bed. tell me about Richard Pryor too. I I, I was a waiter at the Holiday Inn. I waited on all. Oh, because it was next to the Circle Star Theater. Yep. And waited on Rich Little. Everyone said, "Which Go Holiday Inn on Highland?" 
Oh, no, this was on no. the peninsula. It was a oh. theater in the round, uh, like be near Michigan. How- no, no, Peninsula, oh. south of San Francisco. Oh, I, oh, I saw San yeah, Francisco. Yeah. yeah, I see. Right. And they all stayed at the Holiday Inn. Yeah, yeah. So they were, you know, I gave Richard Pryor a yeah, envelope, good. stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Well, the you know the I find the great people are really nice. The ones who are really great are nice, and the medium talent people aren't so nice. You know. <laughs> you know. I've kind of I think that's a, I, true. You know. I you know. He was a great Richard. Uh, our, our, um, well, Pryor and and Carlin, they were both. Yeah, and they would have been gracious to you. Uh, very nice. I did a movie with Pryor. Oh he yeah, was very say, sensitive and yeah. sweet and uh, yeah, great, great. Um, vulnerable. Yeah. Did he host yeah. when you were there? What's up? Did he host? Uh, Richard Pryor hosted. Sure, I remember helping to write oh, yeah. that show. All right, yeah. sir. Fair enough, sir. Yeah. Fair. What's that from? Uh, that was that's right. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> that's Tom. I think I, I think I was I was doing Harry Shearer doing Tom Snyder. <laughs> he did a great Tom Snyder. Oh really? really? Outstanding, outstanding. Ah, oh, Tom. Everybody. <laughs> I remember yeah. saying yeah, I love Tom Snyder. Really. I was a kid. I I didn't know. Dan, I'm so young. Um, no, I'm not. But uh, yeah. I was watching it going. <laughs> I never thought of being on Saturday Night Live. I just was. Every kid loves comedy. And I was like, yeah. oh my God. And that's Tom Snyder. I was just starting to get why it was so funny. I didn't really get the, the depth of how funny it was. I'm like, that's like the guy I just saw. <laughs> and it was so good. It was like that dumb little studio and it's little lighting. Yeah. And you have a cigarette and all that stuff. I mean, Fred Garvin. Was that was his name? Fred Garvin, male prostitute? That's right. Little lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. See, for the lady? Yes, little lady. Well, the, the name is funny at the time. Fred Garvin. Because that just sets his yeah. male Title. prostitute. And he yeah. announces himself that way. But, you know, the copycats and Rich Little and that generation, Frank mm. Gorshman. And Gorsh, those yeah. are the shows oh, I was yeah. watching. And oh, Flip I love those, those impressionists. Rich Little, yeah. Fred Travelina, Gorshman. Yeah. Oh, that's Gorshman. right. Yeah. Yeah. Extraordinarily no. gifted. Yeah, they were great. And that was like Gorshman. magic to me. But when you guys came in and did them in a different... A different context. It was just postmodern. Yeah, you know, it's just a lot of great impressions on the show. For Hartman was spectacular, Phil and we've great. we've referenced you and Phil. There's a, a connection, uh, personality wise. So you both have so many interests. Yeah, outside of being quasi effortless performers, and then would go read the, you know, these journals. He was a like, pilot. Yeah, he's a pilot. Yeah, he was, a, he was yeah. sailing. He was. Oh, I loved in, him. And I he loved was, him too. He was wonderful. You did yeah. Bilko with him, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Steve. Oh, Martin. Yeah, yeah. Here's to Phil. Yeah, <clears> Chris, oh, yeah. Chris, Soul. Chris, John, and uh, Phil, a lot John. to be thankful for at this time of year: Thanksgiving and Christmas, and uh, the old vodka there in the skulls is available in stores all over the nation, all over uh, the if world. If you want to, uh, if you want to get a the coolest a gift bottle out to you'll friend. ever see. Well, it makes great gift. That's why I'm on this kind of little tour here because it's gift giving time of year and we want to remind people that thanksgiving and christmas there's a, a gift you can bring home and you know everybody wants to get ahead that's right <laughs> <laughs> get a head what, or well, get but where head. do you get it is there a website is there a- uh World Wide web crystalheadvodka.com crystalhead it's in most uh, uh liquor stores across the country chains yeah. and otherwise yeah crystalhead and um i think it's it's got a pretty big brand name yeah. I, I think people really or the bottle it, is oh, always good to a stir lot of room the pot because there's a lot of a lot people. of room to grow. So yeah. See, the bottle should be on your shelf if you have liquor. It just looks should, cool. Uh, yeah, it tastes good. Should be on every bar. Yeah, in and the world. Crystal Head. Just in right. just We're a few out. seconds before we get out of here. How'd you come up with that name? <clears throat> well, it's based <laughs> on the legend of the Crystal Heads, which uh, from Indiana Jones <laughs> uh, was referenced in the Indiana, Indiana oh, Jones movie, right. um, and uh, okay. they made a movie about it. <clears throat> in fact, we were developing the concept kind of right in parallel, and I find out that Steven's doing this movie about Crystal Heads. So I actually called him to take a meeting to tell him, you know, we're not copying your enterprise oh, okay. here. <laughs> we started. At the same time, and it takes two years to build a project like this. Mm-hmm. And so I said, well, you know, when your movie comes out, we will be out on the marketplace. We will have been out a little before. But um, I, I explained to him that we, and it wasn't kind of a plagiarism. And right. it wasn't really. Um, uh, Crystal had, uh, there were 13 of them. What if he stole it from you? Uh, I don't, No, the lead time doesn't work out in okay. terms of like when the, both projects came to fruition. Um, but uh, the Navajo, the Aztec, the Mayans. We're supposed to have had these heads, and uh, and they were used for crystal balls. Mm-hmm. And so we decided we were doing this vodka that had no fluids uh, that were pollutants, glycol, sugar, 
clean. lemonine clean. Mm-hmm. And so we wanted to sell the idea of enlightened, mm-hmm. purified drinking of beverage alcohol. And this was yeah. the perfect package to put in, put it in. Yeah. Very good. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. It came from that. I have one more question before this young man uh, takes off. Uh, during that, um, when you leave SNL, you did a lot of big movies. You probably got offered so many ones that you wish you did, or is there movies that you got offered mm. other than James Bond? I, yeah, I would have liked Spies it. Like Us. I don't. Oh, Spies know. Like Us was so fucking great. Yeah, I don't one. know that I was offered anything that I, I turned down and it became. A, I, no, I don't think so. No Honestly, regrets no. where you go. Oh, no. I should have done that one. Spies Like Us was unreal. That was you and Chevy. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I did audition for things that I didn't get. Oh, <clears throat> the uh, the People versus Larry Flint. Um, oh, really? I auditioned for the part of the lawyer played by uh, um, Edward Norton. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And I auditioned for Milos Forman. You know, and I read I, it a sure. couple of times. I Don, Don, do you work with him? I auditioned for yeah. Amadeus. Oh, did you? Yeah, Don, Don, <laughs> Don, 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 stop, stop. acting. Oh, really? Stop <laughs> acting. He goes, stop. <laughs> he was too bored with uh, me. No I don't know. He way. just said, I, I think we're ready to move on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> During yours? So there was a well, few. I didn't know what I was doing, but I, did, I saw the movie and I go, okay, yeah. I see. They wanted a blonde haired, cherubic yeah. guy. Yeah. Boy Did genius. you go off script and do chopping broccoli? No, but I <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah I was, know. You that go was these, my thing. And you so. guys did, and you were great. And you know, today your your stuff endures just as strongly as anything that we ever did on that first cast. You're, you know, if you look at Church Lady and all your impressions and yes. uh, <laughs> you. you know, and everything, you know, and your, I, your, your the... flight attendant, of course. Classic. Oh, yeah, bye bye. A bye-bye. classic, a classic. Oh, yeah. My theory, all of it, all of it great. My all of theory it. is this is that music and comedy just have to reflect the times. And so we were for our time. Yeah. And then I don't ever want to be a grumpy old man about Taylor Swift. She's no John Lennon, you know, that kind of thing. I mm-hmm. sat and tried to really do a deep dive into Taylor Swift because I want to mm-hmm. know. And she's mm-hmm. incredibly skilled. And um, same thing with uh, Saturday Night Live now. This is their era. And they're great. Yeah. And they're, they're great. great. And Higgins said, Steve Higgins just said, Lor, uh, he said, Lorne wrote the Constitution. Mm-hmm. And then everyone interprets it yep. for their time, yep. for their era. So No, the show's been really great. People really great. There. The Halloween yeah. show is outstanding writing. Really, really very that smart. Nate right? Gerba- Gerba- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gerbazi, we, yeah. we had him on the podcast yeah. a couple days later yeah, yeah he was uh, he's a great comic he's a really great. good writer really and he's he, he so excited about that he'd that only done talk shows quality he'd never done. quality work all yeah of it. that's nice you still yeah, watch the george oh yeah well when i'm awake i mean i yeah. I, I live a very very quiet life right now very quiet good i'm not in the cities i'm 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 in the country I, that's where Sell i want your to hot be. Rods. Go, 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 say, oh, i used to have a grand national cars. that was pretty sweet yeah right all right national. that old black national yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah black have a grand national store you go to Heavy and everyone knows yeah. your name kind of thing no and yeah oh yeah oh well, yeah go in anything. on the motorcycle or take one yeah. of the old you know the old cars in it seems to me, yeah. just just from afar, you've always had one foot still in whatever you call regular life. <clears throat> uh, I would say so. You yeah, cycle friends, get a steak. I don't know. I've heard things, yeah. but it seems like you've always oh sure kept sure. That, well, of is, course, uh, after for sanity, yeah. yeah. But I don't like living in cities anymore. I prefer to live in the country, just because I have tinnitus. You know the mm-hmm. ringing, and also mm-hmm. to sleep at night, the blackness. You need the blackness yeah. to sleep. And the where I have a place that the mountain air is coming in. <sighs> And I can open uh, my eyes or close my eyes. Black. And still black. Black. Yeah, yeah. And dead quiet. It's All good. I hear is uh-huh. the coyotes sometimes throw a party. Mm-hmm. But it is so... <sighs> so good. It you, The deep sleep you get there. The, it'll special. prolong life, that sleep. It really will. Yeah. Mine's being short and I'm about 40 feet from sunset. Uh, yeah. uh, it's quiet and this is a fortress here david I just hear here. Bam, yeah bam, this, bam, this is where we want to be during the great reset yeah no, plus he's got a lot of food no he stocks a lot of food <laughs> this whole thing um dan first of all we we we've all looked up to you we we, we you're a lovely guy you're always nice to me i interviewed you for spin magazine when i got on snl yeah and yeah. you're so cool and just the fact that you still generous everything and talking oh, I to love us. hanging with we you love guys. just bullshitting about the old days yeah. yeah you know there is an expression canadian nice and i yeah, i, I went true. to canada once and did a gig and 
There is Canadian nice. There's yeah. Minnesota nice, but Canadian nice was like, I was just at a table before I was going to go out there and a guy was like, he saw me look at some water. Hey, would you like some water there? I can get mm. some water for you. Mm. So there is Canadian nice and there Mike Myers true. yourself. And yeah. um, it's very sweet. And, and um, my wife's Canadian, so I'm Much partial. Yeah. And she's very nice sure, too. Sure, sure. <laughs> she listens to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I just did Calgary last weekend and everyone was nice. Okay. Yeah, it's just Canada is just a cool country. It's not right? a rumor. It's it real. Is. Yeah. It Thank so you, anyway, Danny. Dan, it's been uh, such an honor and a guys, pleasure. Great. You've been a big part of the puzzle of our little project here, and we're so glad well, to we'll have hang, you. We'll hang again soon. Yes. So. See you around campus is what okay, I say. Take care. Slam my crystal head just for you. I don't know. David has quietly gotten drunk during the podcast. It's it. David is hot. No, David is messed up. The stuff works. Oh, boy. This has been a podcast presentation of Cadence 13. Please listen, then rate, review, and follow all episodes. Available now for free wherever you get your podcast. No joke, folks. Fly on the Wall has been a presentation of Cadence 13. Executive produced by Dana Carvey and David Spade, Chris Corcoran of Cadence 13, and Charlie Finan of Brillstein Entertainment. The show's lead producer is Greg Holtzman with production and engineering support from Serena Regan and Chris Basil of Cadence 13. 